students level one or entry level, they will first do the basic exercise. That means they have to learn how to put a car on the ramp. Yeah, they have to find out where are the lifting points on a car, which would be uh, in a similar position. Where I'm pointing out, where would be the lifting points on one side, and where would be the lifting points over here. Sometimes they have to look at the manuals, where actually those lifting points are, because a different car could have a different lifting point. The brake tester is measuring the uh, braking system, the capacity, and how, how much percentage they work. As the brake tester, as the roller for the brake tester, the car actually drive on it. I can pull for the second part for you. brake tester you're testing the efficiency of the brake system. A lines are giving the power from the air compressor. I'll press the compressor over here to feed the power through the air lines over here. This is an impact gun, impact gun and impact socket. Impact socket has a different color as you can see. I have my socket over here and now I have to unclip it, insert it and then I can change the closing or opening on an impact gun. If I'm wanting to remove the wheel on a car, I can use the impact socket. That's how we use it. I have to be very careful when I'm winding back the airline, we do not want it that this will hit you in the knee. So you always have to guide it back into the box. We have to be aware of slip, trips and falls. Yeah? Slips, we can slip usually when we work on a cooling system and there is always some unfortunately droplets and spillage on the floor and we have to mop it with the mop and put the wet sign. We have to be aware and let other people aware that they would not actually slip and create themselves injury. Because our responsibility, not just for ourselves, but for everybody in the workshop. In terms of our trips, we have to be very tidy. When we've got our tools around here, we can't be just leaving tools somewhere around on a workshop because we're just working, because we can actually slip on it, we can trip over it. So all the tools has to be tidy nicely in our toolboxes back where it belongs. When you look at the engine compartment, you will see various containers. You will see the cooling system, you will see power steering system, you will see the braking system and all these reservoirs are for specific fluid. One is for brake fluid and braking system, power steering fluid for power steering system and coolant reservoir for the coolant system. These items which I'm actually lying all over the workshop I'm using for demonstrating the individual single parts that I can point it out what it is. Sometimes a learner could be confused when I'm pointing out something on a car what actually I'm pointing at. That I said that's the part I'm looking at as a steering hub. When you look at it, for example, engine such as, which is color coded, this is for one of our students, they would understand that at the bottom we've got the sump, that's where the oil is. Then we've got the engine block, then we've got the cylinder head, and then we've got, the, for example, rocker cover. In modern engine, it wouldn't be rocker cover, it would be just engine cover. Then we've got over here, we've got water pump, and then we've got the thermostat, which are related with the cooling system. When we look at it, this engine, which is not color coded, students would be, or should be able, should be able to demonstrate and recognize the specific parts I mentioned in the first chapter, which was oil sump, engine block, which is over there, then I've got the cylinder head, which is over here, and then I've got engine cover. Then we've got the exhaust manifold, and over here we've got the inlet manifold. 